Now, trouble doesn't seem to end for businessman Raj Kundra. In another setback, a Mumbai court just yesterday rejected his pre-arrest bail in the 2020 case related to obscene movies on OTT platform. In fact, the Mumbai police, which opposed the bail, has said that Kundra's release may intimidate witnesses. In the 10-page affidavit, Mumbai crime Raj claimed that Kundra was arrested for his bid to destroy electronic evidence and may do so if at all he's released. Now, they further added that Kundra refused to sign on a seizure document and may not cooperate in this probe. In fact, the police claim that British citizen Kundra out on bail may resume making similar obscene videos and may also abscond. Vidya reporting live from Mumbai. Vidya, Kundra's bail plea has been denied. In fact, uh, the reason being that he may just step out and intimidate witnesses and also further go on to make more obscene videos. Now, these are the grounds that the court has rejected bail. Do take us through what really panned out. Now, Bilai, if I can please correct you on this. Uh, his bail has not been rejected. In fact, Sessions Court is going to hear his bail application on August 20. What has been rejected is uh, anticipatory bail, a pre-arrest bail that he was seeking in another case which has been registered by the cyber cell in 2020. In fact, uh, in that case, Sessions Court had in fact rejected anticipatory bail of people like Sherlin Chopra, Poonam Pandey and others as well. And they, those people finally managed to get anticipatory bail in that particular case of cyber cell where, where the allegations are similar of, about making pornography. But certainly in that case, anticipatory was received by Sherlin Chopra, Poonam Pandey and others only from Bombay High Court. So, uh, uh, Sundra's lawyers are very sure that when they approach the Bombay High Court, they might get anticipatory on the ground of parity in that particular case. But certainly, his troubles have not ended and his, uh, you know, his judicial uh, custody will go on till uh, June, uh, August 24. And certainly, his bail plea will be now heard where the bomb... Mumbai police is vehemently uh, opposing the end granting of any uh, relief to uh, Raj Kundra. Thank you very much. Raj Kundra's pre-arrest bail has been denied. Of course, now he's going to be attempting as more skeletons there tumbling out of Raj Kundra's closet. Porn scandal case only getting murkier. India Today has now accessed exclusive details of statements recorded by two victims in this case who's levelled sensational charges against Raj Kundra. Some of these explosive claims by the victims include being forced to act in obscene scenes and even being lured with money. I was threatened. I was cornered. I was forced to act in obscene movies. The number of silences breaking against Raj Kundra's porn scandal is shooting up. In a new layer to the exploding porn controversy that has Shilpa Shetty's husband at the center, India Today has accessed statements recorded by two women who claim they were forced to act in pornographic films. Both recorded their statements with the Mumbai crime branch in February saying they were threatened with police cases if they violated those contracts. While the claims are yet to be investigated, the statements reveal how small-time actors who were struggling to find work in the pandemic were apparently enticed initially with work for web series and then made to sign up for pornographic content. The two claimed victims have named accused actor Gaina Vashisht and Roa Khan as well as others in their statements for forcing them to work. They say their videos were later sold to Yash Thakur and Raj Kundra, finally finding their way onto platforms like Hot Hit, New Flicks and Hot Shots. Complainant number one is a 20-year-old woman who used to play small roles in Marathi serials. She says the lockdown had destroyed her household and livelihood. In her statement, she says, on the 10th of January this year, she saw an advertisement on social media for an acting assignment in a web series. She contacted a person named Naresh, whose number was listed in the ad. A few days later, Naresh told her to come for a shoot of a web series to be held in mud. She was offered 10,000 rupees per day. Naresh picked up the woman near the Malad station and took her to a house in mud. There she was told that the series belonged to Kehna Vashisht and was taken to the makeup room. The victim says that initially some scenes were shot in a garden, Later, she was taken inside a bungalow where she was informed about the scene. She was to shoot with three side actors who were to take turns raping her on camera. Once she was told about the scene, she refused to work but was threatened by Gena Vashisht into working. 
After the scene was shot, Gena Vashisht is said to have told the victim that 10 lakh rupees had been spent on the web series and if she refused to work, she would have to pay for the losses. After more forced intimate scenes, she was threatened again and the agreed fee was transferred not to hers but her father's bank account. Complainant number two is a 25-year-old woman who says that she too was threatened and forced to act in obscene videos. On the 4th of February, complainant number two says she was introduced to Roa Khan by a casting director named Ronak. They reach mud in Roa's car and she is briefed to act in a video named Single Mother. After her makeup is done, she was told that she is too thin for Single Mother and will therefore act in a film called Bartanwali. Refusing to work, she is reassured by Roa Khan who tells her this is the only route to money and that she doesn't have to worry since it won't be on television, only on paid apps like Hotshot. She is then given a pawn name and made to record a no-objection video. During the actual filming, the complainant's hesitation upsets director Roa Khan. This is followed by a fully nude scene. Once again, she protests. She is allegedly threatened by Roa Khan, saying cases will be filed against her. The victim says that she was shooting at the location when crime branch from the Mumbai police raided that very bungalow. The two complaints are almost identical and show a pattern of enticing, trapping and then threatening small-time actors into pornographic content. As Raj Kundra remains in judicial custody, it remains to be seen how many more people break their silence in this expanding porn racket. With Kema Prasan Mangesh, Ambre Mustafa Sheikh in Mumbai for India Today.